Hi, welcome to the PS Desire Photoshop channel. In this video, I'm going to show you an amazing yet very simple method to add colored gel light effects to your portraits in Photoshop using a gradient map. To get started, first open the photograph that you want to edit. By the way, I'm using the latest Photoshop 2022 version. If you want to go ahead and download an image and PSD file of this tutorial for free just follow the links given in the description. The first thing we need to do is to add a levels adjustment layer. Start by dragging the black level to move it towards the center. As you move the black level you will see the image become slightly darker. Moving the black level also made all the other tones in the image darker. Now create a gradient map, so click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose gradient map. Click on the Blend Mode drop-down menu and then simply choose a color. Now the gradient is set from black to white. Black refers to shadows and white refers to highlights. But in this case, we want to apply color to highlights, so single click on the right slider, click on the color, and set it to any color of your choice. For this tutorial, I'm using cyan color. Now drag the right slider towards the left and set it between 50 and 60 to spread the color in shadow details as well. Once you do that hit OK. Similarly, let's create one more gradient map. Change the blending to color. This time select the complementary color to cyan. The opposite of cyan is red. So here I'm setting the red color. Now drag the right slider towards the left to make red color to dark parts of the portrait. Once you do that hit OK. Now here comes the most important part of the tutorial, that is I need a cyan color on the right side of the face and red color on the back of her. We can do that using a gradient tool, and set the gradient from black to white. Select the layer mask and drag the gradient from left to right on the mask. I'm doing just up to the half of the photo so that red appears only on the right side of her. Now this is looking good and now let's add a matte finish look. We can do this easily using curves adjustment. Add curves adjustment and drag the black slider a little bit up to give a faded look. Finally, add some noise to give a more realistic look to heavily edited areas, or to create a textured layer. Add a blank layer and name layer noise. Fill the layer with 50% gray. The next step is to go to filter, select add noise. Set the amount you like, and set the distribution uniform and check monochromatic. Just hit OK. Change the noise layer blending to overlay. Now this is looking good and we can control the effect just by lowering any layer opacity if necessary. All layers are non-destructive and can edit at any time. Please note that the faded effect created using curves adjustment is just an optional step. If you don't want it you may skip that part. So here are the before and after results. I hope this tutorial helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Please like and share. See you again in the next video. Take care.